I wish at this point to particularly to apologize deeply on behalf of the chiefs and people of Gold Coast and Ghana for the atrocities, the cruelty, the inhuman treatment that were committed 400 years ago by my ancestors during the Atlantic slave trade. Where over 400 years ago, millions of our brothers and sisters were captured, sold, and transported under inhumane and cruel circumstances through Elmina Castle across to the Caribbean and to the New World. On behalf of the chiefs and people of Ghana, I do render unqualified apology deep from the bottom of our hearts, deep from our bottom of our hearts. But one thing that I want you to be aware of, it was not without resistance. Some of our chiefs did fought and resisted. Some of our people did fought and resisted. But we are fighting a losing battle against a stronger army. People with guns, and we had no guns. They deceived us with liquor and all other temptations. Whatever the circumstances that led us to us, we stand here to render apology. And it's my wish and prayer that this apology is accepted. It's accepted deep by our brothers and sisters from the diaspora. May the blood of Jesus assist us to overcome that evil that never again, never again should we witness Amen. this cruelty, this inhuman cruelty of man to man in this country. I thank you and once again, on behalf of the chiefs and people of Ghana, we do render this apology. You see, so these are the Africans acknowledging that they sold the Israelites, which is you so-called blacks, into slavery. Okay? This is their apology for doing it their apology for the atrocities the rape the rob the murder the selling into captivity but let's get to what the most high says about it okay not my words the most high words this is colossians chapter 3 and verse 25 but he that doeth wrong shall receive the wrong which he have done and there is no respecter of persons so this is what the Most High is saying. If you do wrong, you will receive the wrong in which you have done. There is no respecter of persons, okay? So we have to understand that. So every nationality that played a part had their hand in selling the children of Israel into captivity, into slavery, that had the children of Israel in slavery will have to pay for that. This is what the Most High is saying. This is Lamentations 5 and verse 7. Our fathers have sinned and are not, and we bore their iniquities. So you see how he said his ancestors did these atrocities to the children of Israel? Well, guess what? We're in captivity right now, paying for our forefathers' sin. So it's only right that you have to pay for your forefathers' sin. That's what the Most High is saying. The Most High, he is a just God. But let's keep going. 
This is Zechariah 2 and verse 8. For thus said the Lord of hosts, after the glory have he sent me unto the nations, which spoiled you. For he that toucheth you touched the apple of his eye. So the Most High, he loved his children. He loved the children of Israel. See, and the beauty of it all is we don't have to do anything. We don't have to do anything. The Most High, he's going to fight for us. He is going to fight for the children of Israel. This is Romans chapter 12 and verse 19. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, said the Lord. So you see, so the Most High, he's going to repay and he's going to avenge for what was done to the children of Israel. That's just. Let's keep going. So we don't have to, we don't have to avenge for ourselves. We don't have to fight. We don't have to declare war. We don't have to do any of that. The Most High, he's going to fight for us. This is Joel chapter 3, verse 1 through 4. For behold, in those days, in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations, and I will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, and I will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. And they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for a harlot and sold a girl for wine that they may drink. And see, in his confession and his apology, he said this, that they sold us for wine. You see, but let's keep going. Verse four, yea, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon, in all the coast of Palestine, Will ye render me a recompense? And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? So the Most High, he's not playing about his children, bottom line. You know, he's coming back to avenge for the children of Israel. And that's what the world has to wake up and realize. You didn't just take black people into slavery. You didn't just take Mexicans into slavery. You didn't just take the natives into slavery. You took the children of Israel. Let's keep going. I got one more precept. This is Revelation chapter 13, verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patient and faith of the saints. So that's just. And that's it. Shalom.